Today I will be giving you a full tour and walkthrough of the brand new Celebrity Ascent cruise ship. The Celebrity Ascent was launched in November of 2023 and is the fourth ship in the Edge Class series. Costing a whopping $1.9 billion to build, it holds just under 4,000 passengers at full capacity, has 16 decks, 32 food and drink venues which includes 15 restaurants, 12 bars and lounges, 4 main dining rooms and 4 cafes. It also has 6 hot tubs and 3 pools, all of which I will show you in this video. Starting on deck 14 midship, we have what is arguably one of the most popular areas on board any cruise ship, which is the Lido deck or pool deck. Here you will find one of the longest pools at sea, of course a pool bar, the Beyond Cabanas that are available for purchase, and the revolutionary Magic Carpet. This is the main docking area here on deck 14. The Magic Carpet is a revolutionary device that acts as a bar and lounge elevator operating between decks 2 and 16. The Magic Carpet will switch decks throughout the entirety of the day, from the morning to the evening. On the pool deck there are events that also take place throughout the day and the evening like the officer versus passengers volleyball game, aquatic aerobics, and nightly parties from time to time. Of course throughout all of deck 14 midship there is plenty of seating, plenty of lounging, and plenty of areas to sunbathe as well. There are also two additional lounging areas tucked in between deck 14 and 15, one of which is used as a smoking area. Off to the side of the pool deck we also have the mast grill. This is a snacking area that is available during the afternoon where you you can get hot dogs and hamburgers. Moving up towards the front or forward part of the ship, just past the pool on deck 14, we have the adults only area known as the solarium. You do have to be 16 and up in order to stay in this area. Located here is one pool, two hot tubs, and the spa, cafe, and juice bar. Moving to the very front of deck 14, we have the spa area. Here you have a barber shop, a salon, relaxation room, as well as thermal suites. In the middle of deck 14, just behind the pool, leading to the back or aft area, we have the Ocean View Cafe, aka the buffet area. Here you can dine free of charge for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's also a coffee shop known as the Basio. There are two of them located on board, as well as a place to get pizza in the very back or aft of the ship, along with plenty of seating areas. Deck 17 is located in the forward or front part of the ship and is reserved for the suite's guest. This area is called the retreat. Here you will have private access to hot tubs, pools, bars, restaurants, only reserved to retreat guests. Even though I was fortunate enough to get a sneak peek of the retreat area, unfortunately I was not able to get any footage of any of the suites in the retreat area, so I will put a couple photos of them now and hopefully you'll be satisfied with that. Moving down to deck 16, in the forward or front part of the ship, we have the continuation of the retreat aka the suites area. Over in this area we have the restaurant. As we move to the middle or the midship, we do have lounging areas overlooking the pool deck area as well as two hot tubs located in this area in the front and the mid part of the pool deck area. From there we have the docking area for the magic carpet as well as the mast bar and the start of the jogging track. On deck 15 starting from the front or aft we do have the fitness center. This area is pretty large and has all the equipment you need as well as a yoga studio and a cycling studio. In the middle of the ship we have the continuation or other half of the jogging track. As we make our way to the back or aft of the ship we do have the rooftop garden. This is an area where you'll see a big screen where they play movies and all types of sporting events. Events like yoga sessions and pickleball tournaments will take place here. As we work our way to the back or aft of the ship we do have the rooftop garden grill where you can dine in for a lovely evening and dinner. There are also two veranda pools, more lounging areas, and a smoking area toward the back of the ship. You also have have the sunset bar to the very back or aft of the ship where you'll also find plenty of lounging areas as well. There is no deck 13 on this ship so decks 5 through 12 are all passenger decks with all cabin types. On deck 5 starting in the forward or front part of the ship we do have the theater. This does encompass both deck 4 and 5. Here you will see all types of production shows, comedy acts, and all types of specialty events. Located just behind the theater you do have the captain's club. You go beyond that you have the art gallery gallery where fine art is auctioned off periodically throughout the entire cruise. Next to that we have the club. This is a nightclub like area where during the day they will have all types of events and games going on. Some production shows just before the nightclub actually opens. There they have a bar and the nightclub typically stays open till about 1 or 2 a.m. Working our way to the middle of deck 5 we have the world class bar where you can have world class drinks made by you guessed it world class bartenders. Just beyond that we have the raw on 5 dining restaurant. 
restaurant where you can have all types of sushi and seafood. Next to the Raw on 5, you have another docking area for the Magic Carpet. Directly across from Raw on 5, you have the Fine Cut Steakhouse, which is arguably one of the most popular dining options on board the entire ship. So I would suggest if you want to eat there, as soon as you get on board during your cruise, make sure you make a reservation because it could possibly sell out. Making our way to the back or aft of Deck 5, we have a couple boutique shops. Maybe you find something interesting that you want to buy. However, if you continue on, you will find a very mysterious mystical hallway that will start to transform the rest of Deck 5 to the Eden area. Once we arrive there, to the right you will see a chocolate shop full of elegant chocolates available for purchase. To the left, you will see the Blue Restaurant. This restaurant is only reserved for passengers that are staying in the Aqua Class Suites. On the left, you will see one more boutique shop, and then you will finally enter the Eden area in the very back or aft of the ship. Here you will see what is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful venues you will see on board any cruise ship. There are all kinds of events and shows that will take place here. This entire area will take up decks 4 through 6. Here you have the Eden Cafe, the Eden Bar, as well as the Eden Restaurant. There is also a smoking and lounging area just off to the right on deck 5. On deck 4, along with the continuation of not only the theater but the nightclub as well, there's also the celebrity shops, there's the future cruise vacations area, we have the photo studio where you can have professional photos taken, the shore excursions area is also on deck 4. Just past shore excursions we have the photo gallery where you can view all of your professional photos that have been taken as well as those around the ship. Next to the photo gallery we have yet another popular dining option on board, Lou Voyage. All I will say is that just like Fine Cut, you want to book this one extremely early because chances are it will sell out very quickly. In the middle of deck 4 we have the heart of the celebrity ascent, the Grand Plaza. This area technically encompasses decks 3 through 5. It's a beautiful area, very popular, I want to say just as popular as the pool deck. Here you have a gigantic bar, there are shows and lots of events going on in this particular area and even during the evening hours it will stay open just as long as the nightclub. Surrounding Grand Plaza you have Cafe El Basio, remember I told you there were two on board, one here on deck 4, the other one located at the Ocean View Cafe. Here this area serves as not only a place to go get some coffee and some baked goods, it's also a very popular lounging area. You also have Le Grand Bistro, this is a French dining option on board, very delicious. You also have the Craft Social Bar, this area is almost equally as popular during the evening hours as the Grand Plaza and Nightclub, however typically it does close about one hour prior to the other venues closing. Working our way back just past Grand Plaza, we have the casino on the right side, and to the left we have more of the celebrity shops. Also, do keep in mind that when it comes to the casino, it is open only during sea days. Whenever we are in port, it is closed up until about an hour or so when we leave the port and enter international waters. Towards the back or after the ship, we have two of the complimentary dining options on board the Cosmopolitan Restaurant as well as the Cypress Restaurant. On deck three forward, we have the Camp at Sea. This is the daycare area on board. Toward the middle of the ship, we do have the continuation of the Grand Plaza where they have the Martini Bar. Just past that, you have Guest Relations. Directly across from Guest Relations, Relations. In the same room, you have the concierge lounge. And finally, towards the after back of the ship, we have the last two complimentary dining options, the Normandy restaurant and the Tuscan restaurant. Lastly, on deck two, we do have the medical facility located in the front or forward part of the ship. Toward the midship, we do have destination gateway. This is where you would disembark the ship. You also have the basement, which is the teen area and another docking area for the magic carpet. And that is my quick full cruise ship tour of the brand new Celebrity Ascent. I hope all of you found this enjoyable or valuable in some kind of way. What some of you may or may not know is that these types of videos may not be difficult to make. However, it does take a long time. It's a very tedious process. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this type of video in the comment section below because I don't normally do cruise ship tours, but if you want more of these quick ones or maybe you want a longer one that's like 30 minutes or 45 minutes like everybody else does, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And know as usual, I love and appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.